Well, it is Tax Tips Tuesday time, and if you own a small business or have a side hustle for extra money, this one is for you. Our Tim Sanders is joined by Lori Carpenter of Stadler & Company Tax Service. Well, Lori's here from Stadler Tax Company, and it's Tax Tuesday. Lori, good afternoon. Good to be here. Hey, let's talk about first off small business, or if you've got a side hustle, when does it become taxable? If you make over $600 and your intention is to have a profit, you are already taxable. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you've got maybe if you're you know, selling baskets or you're selling Tupperware, that sometimes can get over that $600. So it's important to, to file. Right. And underneath that $600, you still may have to pay tax on it. You just uh, may report it a little bit differently. Okay. So, what yeah. are some important things that people need to save throughout the year uh, for, for filing? So one of the big things is any receipts. So all of your expenses are a deduction. Anything that you need to run your business is a deduction from what you have to pay tax on. But if there's an audit with the IRS, you need to be able to prove that you had those, those expenses. So keep your receipts for everything. All right, so if you're running an office out of your home, what types of things are deductible? Is utilities, phone, what, what are some things people should look at? This is one of those small areas that you can deduct your personal, seemingly the personal expenses of your home. But if you have an office, it needs to be exclusively for your home office. And then that portion of everything you do to the house, whether it's utilities, your mortgage, interest, uh, depreciating the house, repairs, you know, if you have to replace your HVAC unit or something, uh, that portion, what Whatever the portion the, house, the room is gets to be deducted as part of your home office. In addition, you can also, anything that you uh, put in there, your furnishings, your wall decor, all of that is 100% deductible. Okay. And what would you recommend for people, you know, how do you document what's in those rooms and what's the best way so that you do get an audit mm -hmm. to show to the government? I always ask clients for pictures of their room or their area so that I have that on file and I can say, yes, I've seen at least a picture of it so it, it does look like it's uh, exclusive and would qualify for the, the deduction. What about during the pandemic, if you've received any funding from the government or let's say you've ever received a grant uh, from mm -hmm. a community, what should businesses do for that? Most of the time, those things are probably some, somewhere taxable. Uh, so you need to make sure that you know what kind of grant it is, whether there's a tax implication to it. Make sure you just report that to your tax preparer so they can make sure that it gets reported correctly. And you help them throughout the entire year? We do, yes. So for more information, log on to mywallbashfly.com and click on Good Day Live. Lori, what's your location again? It's at 3464 South 4th Street. All right. Thank you very much, Lori. My pleasure. And thanks to Lori and Tim for that good information. And if you missed any of our Tax Tips Tuesday interviews, they can all be found in the Good Day Live section of our website.